<gasps> He's got a shotgun. He's got a shotgun. Moving in. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, this is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, it is Nick K30 here, and I've been making content for around seven years. And thanks to you guys, I was able to go full time three and a half years ago. And while you see me every day on stream and in YouTube videos, you never really get that behind the scenes look. I never really take the time to do that. So that's what this video today is gonna be. And I wanna break down all the setups that I've had. So I've had three different setups over the course of my career. The first one was in a whole different house. This was when I was learning step-by-step step on how to make videos and how to be a creator. Uh, I was uploading videos on like Splinter Cell and The Last of Us, games that I really loved. And it was the beginning of my story. So this setup was particularly special to me. The second one, when we moved houses, was a huge upgrade. I finally had the space and freedom to record whenever I wanted. I didn't have to wait until I was alone to record. Before, I always waited until no one was home. Home. Not that I was loud or anything. Get him, bitch, bitch, bitch! Hey, he's in the house! He's in the house! And this one that you can see right here is the final third stream room. And it's the best one hands down because it was built by dad, a 30. Uh, we worked so hard to get here and it's an accumulation of everything in my career, like right up until this point. What you see behind me guys is the new and improved stream room. Not looking too streamy right now, but it will be all finished soon. Ladies and gentlemen, the stream room is coming along mighty fine, mighty swell. We love to see you folks. We really, really do. So in order to make the room completely soundproof, my dad actually tore down the walls. He installed completely new insulation, new drywall that's way thicker, and he had his friend help him as well. Even Max 830 stopped by for a little bit. And my dad even built the PCs as well. He just knows how to do about everything. He did them all from scratch. They're custom built, as you see, and it's an open PC setup, both the gaming and the streaming PC. That way it's better cooling. He custom bent all the tubing and filled it up with water cooling. And it matches with my logo, my brand. It looks really nice. It's been a journey. And you know, before we showcase it all in detail, I wanted to show you guys my very first setup first. So you guys remember I told you we moved houses. Before we actually moved out, I recorded a little video of my setup and this was when I was at like 30,000 subscribers. So at that point, I wasn't even full time. I was actually in the midst of trying to become full time. I had taken a year off university, that little one year deal that I made with my dad. It was at this point and I didn't even know I'd be showing this. So I hope you guys enjoy this cool footage. Now let's jump into my second setup. And this is where most of you guys have probably seen me from because this is where I was streaming from when Fortnite had just released. As I told you, we moved houses. So for the first time I had my own stream room and it was separate from where I slept. So it was a huge step up. It allowed me to create videos and stream more freely, but it got even better. One weekend I was traveling. I don't know exactly where, I think it was like PAX East or something. And when I got back out of nowhere, my parents surprised me with a huge room overhaul and they actually recorded it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> What? What? Really? <laughs> Holy crap. No, you haven't seen it. I have like a studio now. Sammy, do the Did light. you get it before and after? Do the light. Hmm? Did no. you get it before and after? So look. No, wait, wait. But it looked so terrible before. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> so, wait. these are the hue. Correct. Right. You can make them any wait. color you want. Okay. Those but you can't see it because I have a green screen though, you know? No, no. Okay, but no. you don't need to do it while the green screens are up because the green screens go down. So they're just adding as a light like towards so, the back. Can hey, I adjust it? Watch, I'm going watch. To shut that off. Watch. Now we're going to go full brightness. <laughs> so the spotlights are covering Look. the green screens. Wow. Look underneath. Look underneath. <laughs> what? Yeah, right Look. here. That's okay. Okay. Wow. Now that. I bought you a new tripod. <laughs> That you can put the camera in if you want and maybe mount it here, you could try it. 
Okay. Because it's made so the camera mounts here now. So do I need that light? What's that light for now that we got the these? The camera. Don't it's the just camera. extra light in case you okay. need it on your face. Okay. But to put the camera. Wow. So Wait. what and what is this? So like we're it's soundproofing. That's for yeah. the echo. Look at this. Wow. Look at the pillow look. underneath. What is this? Is this it? Some storage for you. It's a storage. And the softer it is, the less echo there is. Plus we put all that soundproofing on. This was extremely special for me because not only did they put a lot of time and effort into making it unique, but it also, you know, gave me a huge motivation boost to create content because I had my parents supporting me and that was uh, like a big thing because, you know, they always wanted me to go to university and study and all that stuff. But through hard work, dedication, I was finally able to start seeing success as I grew my channel. That setup evolved with me as a streamer. Um, there were some things that I changed. And while I have a new setup now, I still have this setup actually as a backup, just in case something goes wrong with my current setup. And you know, there's something that like a new Fortnite update, a new season, and I don't wanna just be stuck without a PC. So always have a backup and this is it. All right, now that we've shown this setup, guys, I wanna show you guys the brand new setup that my dad built. And along the way, you're gonna see some cool stuff, including three different machines right here that have three separate waste sacks, there, there, and there. We've got the back rower down there. We've got a little punching bag right here. We've got the treadmill, the arc machine, and now it's gonna get really, really interesting if you come on through this door. Come on in. There's Max 830. Wow. This is basically like the kitchen, a place to get a quick couple snacks if we want while I'm streaming. It's also Max A30's room as well because there's a little meat grinder, Mom A30, Dad A30 personally grind his food. Over here, we got some G Fuel, of course, and the different flavors that I can choose from. Make it quick in the kitchen with the sink over there, of course. This is our fridge. This is for quick snacks. We got a lot of healthy fruit in here. I gotta be staying fit while I'm gaming, sitting on my booty. I really, really like uh, blueberries, raspberries, and of course, grapes. And can't forget about my apple juice when I'm not drinking G Fuel. Now, stream room is gonna be over there. We're gonna show you the main office area where we do our conference calls. This is basically like a little cabinet to showcase a lot of the fan art and different things I got sent to my PO box. And it's a little bit more over there as well, if you can see. We've got some different stuff like Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us Part Two, where it all started, different Fortnite gear. Um, if you look over here, we got a couple cool awards, some more fan mail. Um, George St. Pierre also sent us some boxing gloves when we first moved to Twitch. So now the main moment you've been waiting for, this is the new stream room. I'm gonna get the lights right here. So there's four different lights, four different switches to control all the different aspects of the room. As you can see right here, we have a green screen that we can pull down. These are the four monitors. I game on a 27 inch, 240 hertz monitor. We have our camera in the center. I really like the way it looks, so it has that side profile. We got the Elgato key lights, the Shure SM7B microphone. We've got the Focusrite uh, audio interface. This allows me not only to hear um, what I'm saying, but also control the audio so it's independent from what the stream here is, so I can adjust it individually, I like that. And also monitor my voice with this mic. Big thank you, of course, to Bose for sending their amazing new gaming headphones. I can hear everything in Fortnite, love that. We've got a Razer keyboard, Final Mouse Ultralight Cape Down 2 for a mouse. We have the push-up cam right down here. It's a webcam plugged in. Adjustable desk, of course, if I wanted to play standing up, in case I wanted to get a little stretch in. You can lift it all the way up, very nice. And of course, the PCs themselves are custom made by Data 30 liquid cooled, so we can overclock it. They're actually overclocked right now, the CPU, uh, GPU, even the RAM as well is overclocked. And of course, the lighting matches my branding. You can see over there as well, you got the purple matching. Over here, the keyboard camera hanging from the ceiling via a mount that my dad installed. And because of course they're liquid cooled and it gets really, really hot in here, we have some very nice AC installed. It also does heat as well. 
And after a stream, I like to kind of just sit back here, chill, get a nice little massage for my personal massager, and watch some nice TV right there. I want to give a big thank you to Bose for sending this personal surround sound system. We have a center speaker, a right channel, left channel. We have the subwoofer actually down there. The back surround, which my dad actually set up. Notice how there's no wires. He, he perfectly put all the wires in these little panels. And then there's the other channel for the speaker right over there. Soundproofing as well. My dad custom made this. I'll put everything in the description. Very nice material and it helps make it so there's no echo in here. We have of course the lights up there. Fireplace as well, just for a nice background. And I talked about earlier, the pull down green screen. So it's for streaming. But then if I want to do a video, like an update video or something like that, I can kind of have that nice clean background with my camera being dead on center. Very nice. We also have a nice little chair as well with some good back support. I usually don't even use this back support at all, but still nice to have. We have the foot pedals and that's basically so I can clip the last 60 seconds of my stream by hitting this button. It's an OBS replay buffer. This is to mute my mic in Discord. And then we also, if you come on down here, we have four different power supplies. And basically what it is, is if the power goes out, it will still keep the power running. My game will work. We actually have a modem that's run on a battery backup as well. So if we lose power because there's a storm, which happens a lot in Nova Scotia, we'll still be good to stream. And for anyone wondering, the reason why I have a gaming PC and a streaming PC, so it's not just one single PC, is that way I can get the most frames per second on Fortnite to play the best that I can, because the more frames that you get, the lower the input lag, the quicker your response time. So therefore, if I have my one PC and it's running Fortnite and it's also streaming, you'll get lower frames because your CPU and your GPU are both being used um, for two different tasks. If you separate them, you get higher frames, you can play a lot better. And then also, of course, um, while I'm here, while I have you guys here, I did have a little additions. Like, of course, we do have um, the PlayStation 5, the nice little Samsung monitor. Um, I have a preamp, which uh, makes my voice sound a lot better. But we can get into that in another video. I, I actually planned on doing an another update video next year. Um, and in a couple years, we might have something in the works. So there'll be, a, there'll be another video. Maybe in a year, there'll be another video. So I got you guys. So I also wanna show you guys the bathroom now. And it's super, super huge right now because before, if you guys take a peek, I would be coming in there from my old stream room and leaving in through there, running upstairs, trying to go to the bathroom in like under a minute before you guys would get impatient and start spamming the chair emotes in chat. So basically we have a bathroom in here that my dad custom built. And I wanna show you guys, if you look in here, right over here we have the sink. Got some soap, we have some nice Axe product. Of course, you know they're our sponsor, so we love repping that really well. Um, we have the nice custom toilet. Now, the thing about this toilet is it is heated. It's got a bidet in it. It's got a little cleaner in it. It's, it's so custom made, it's, it's incredible. Uh, we also have a shower. And if you come on in here, get a nice little shot of the top and the lighting, so nice in there. All custom made, my dad did it from scratch. He tore down the whole bathroom and installed this. All right, A-Team, that's it for the setup video. Big, big thank you for watching if you made it this far. Uh, definitely a different video, and I wanted to end this video by just saying thank you to everyone who made this possible to be able to live out my dream, to be able to have this setup, to be able to stream every single day. Um, there are definitely nights where, you know, I stay up late and, you know, grind and edit and still do the things that I've been doing since the very beginning, but I'd have it no other way, man. I love this job, and um, it wouldn't be possible without you guys, so... Keep on being awesome, A-Team, and I will see you all in the next one. Hey!